Welcome to Newsbreak, the show covering everything happening around Charles County Public Schools. I'm Cameron Robinson. Our show today will tell you who is the top speller in Charles County, plus take you to an event where you can learn a lot about our school system and county. We'll start it off with the all three C's, College Park, Championship, and Chargers. That is a 2A state championship trophy which belongs to the Henry E. Lackey Chargers girls basketball team. The silver and blue brought a title home to Charles County on March 11th by beating previously unbeaten Kent Island 53-33. After trailing very briefly at 3 to nothing, the Chargers relied on their trademark pressure defense and some great ball movement on the offensive end to win the game. This is the school's first championship in basketball and these Chargers are ecstatic about hanging a championship banner in the gym where they worked hard to reach the ultimate goal. It feels surreal. I mean, the excitement and the joy that we get from playing with this team, I wouldn't want to do it with nobody else. We were locked in and like, we weren't scared that they were coming back because when we get that lead, we're very good at keeping it. I'm really excited but also sad, you know, because this is my last game. But I'm really glad that I got to be a part of this team to, you know, experience this. It means a lot because I've never, I never thought I'd be here, honestly. Like, if you asked me, before, like, at the beginning of the school year, if I was going to be a champion, I wouldn't have believed you. The feeling is overwhelming to bring it back to the sticks, to the west side of Charles County, um, for our community. It's huge. So it brings a lot of joy to my heart to do that. The last time Charles County Public Schools won a girls basketball championship was in 2013. Way to go, Lackey, for breaking the championship drought. Time to go from champions to a champion. Valedictorian. V-A-L-E-D-I-C-T-O-R-I-A-N. Valedictorian. Correct. And with that, Alec Gallahan of Madeline Middle School claimed the title of top speller in Charles County. The eighth grader beat out Alex Dusterwald of Archbishop Neal School for the 2023 Spelling Bee Championship on March 9th at Milton M. Summers Middle School. We caught with Alec a few days after winning to see if any of the buzz from being a B champion wore off. It feels pretty nice knowing that I uh, won the Spelling Bee and I won it for the team, you know, the school and everything. It feels pretty good still. Most of them have gotten out like on the early rounds. I told them I was going to win it. So as soon as I heard valedictorian, I was like, I can't let this go. And so I decided to go for it. Whatever happens, happens. Like all the kids there were really cool and they were really nice. And honestly, I didn't really care who won. Alec will take his spelling abilities to the Scripps National Spelling Bee at the Gaylord Resort and Convention Center in Fort Washington, Maryland. The spelling bee could not be aired live due to contest rules, but it will be available for viewing beginning April 1st. Watch it on Comcast 96, Verizon Files 12, or online on our CCPS TV live streaming site. There's a basic saying in television, or film, you need to show, not tell. Every spring, Charles County Public Schools manifest the idea by showing the community all the great programs for students, as well as their inspired projects. It happens in March and is a big hit. A big crowd turned out for the History, Industry, Technology, and Science Expo on March 11th held at St. Charles High School. HITS combines the Science and History Fair into one event where people can view each project. There is also an interactive component to the expo where students can try a variety of activities like signing their name with the colonial era ink pen to making a DNA helix with gummy bears and Twizzlers or trying on a fireman's uniform. Hmm, maybe in a few more years. Several school sea perch teams were testing their robots for their own purposes. Other county organizations also attended the expo, like the Indian Head Naval Service Warfare Center and Charles County Sheriff's Office. It was a good way to spend time on a cold day. It's time for News to Know, a segment that gives you the dates, times, places, and events that you need to know. That is why we call it News to Know. Schools will dismiss two hours early on March 28th, then a week later, it's spring break. All schools will be closed from April 3rd to the 10th. All offices will be closed on April 7th and the 10th. Everyone heads back on April 11th. Here are some future dates for the SAT and ACT. 
The SAT will be held on May 6th and June 3rd. The ACT will be held on April 15th. Students should visit their school's counseling office to get more information on taking either test. That will wrap up this edition of Newsbreak. I'm Cameron Robinson. Congratulations to all of our winter sports champions and best of luck to all the teams in the spring. See you in the field, everyone. Bye.